Hi everyone, it's Vale or BookCenty58 and I'm here today with my bout of books 11, I think, um, TBR because at first I, I actually didn't know that this um, bout of books was going to, to start because I, I don't know, I just didn't watch videos about it, I haven't found a lot of videos about it in my subscriptions, like videos that I check every day, so I didn't know, but then I found a video by a girl, and I don't remember her name, but, well, but I will put it on the screen, and she uh, was doing this video as well, her TBR pile for the bout of books, and so I decided to enter for the first time ever since my the opening of my channel, actually, and so yay! I. I will put the rules and the website uh, which started this uh, readathon so you can check them out and enter as well. And so, yay, I'm just going to start. And the first, another thing, this is the first um, readathon that I'm participating in, but I will participate in another one uh, next month from the 8th to the 21st of September, of course, and it's the Septubathon. It's a readathon um, created by Italian booktubers like me and I'm gonna participate into that readathon as well that's going to last two weeks. So if you are Italian and if you want to enter I will put the links to the, um, the video as well. So this is my TBR pile. It's not super long because I still have a lot of things to study before school is going to start. Um, uh, the 15th of September so I'm going to go with five books in one week I think that's not bad but I have to admit that two of them I have actually already started and I want to finish them during the readathon well the, the bout of books so the two books are this one that I recently got and the, most of these books you still haven't seen because they are going to be featured inside a book haul that I'm going to upload right after this video, so stay tuned because there's going to be a book unboxing, for example, for this book and others one, and other ones, and a book haul for this one, for example. So this is the a book that I got from the author to review, and it's called Finding Airy Styles by G. B. Ope, and I am almost finished with this. I started this like a few days ago, and I want to finish this during the bout of books so and I'm actually enjoying this this is um, a book it's a apocalyptic post-apocalyptic book and it's really interesting and yeah so and then I have this book and I don't know what's the name in English because I don't think this book has been translated yet it's by a German author his name is David Safier I'm not sure um, but anyway, this the original version is in German, but I'm I'm reading it in Italian and I'm loving it. I'm halfway through it, so yay! This is the book with William Shakespeare on the cover, and basically this is the story of a girl who has some love problems, and she reincarnates inside William Shakespeare's body in order to find true love and to discover more about herself. So she goes back in time because she meets a magician... Blah. She meets a magician... No, I cannot pronounce magician. So, and uh, he uses some tricks and she sends her, he sends her back in time so she can uh, live as the the poet and discover more about herself so yay enjoying them so far and then uh, the three other books are two new books that I recently got and one that I had on my bookshelf for a long time and the book in question is uh, the book um, that I had for a long time is Skellig by David Almond Almond? I don't know how to pronounce his name but it's this and I think this is a a middle grade book, something like this, but I was given this book a long time ago for Christmas, well, a few years ago for Christmas, and um, I always loved the cover, but 
it's like a super short book but I still haven't read it and I heard from Italian booktubers that this book is really good so I'm excited to read this and then I have this ugly 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 edition of Looking for Alaska by John Green and this is gonna be featured in that old video as well because I just bought this book just because it was um, 5 euros instead of 5 euro, no, well, 4 euros instead of 4 euros 90 as you can see there and because in the bookstore the new edition, beautiful edition is 15 dollars and uh, well, 15 euros and that day I didn't have enough money to buy the beautiful one so I went for this one instead but I think that if I'm gonna like this I will buy the the beautiful paperback because this is a mass market paperback and I ate it and plus there was a sticker on the top as you can see don't know if you can but here there was a sticker where you see the shiny part there was a sticker and while I was peeling it off I I ripped the page so I had to put some sticky tape on the top and I think that from this distance for example you cannot see the defect so yay so um, this cover is ugly like I mean is ugly but anyway so looking for Alaska and this is gonna be the second book by um, uh, John Green that I'm going to read because I love the 14 hour stars who didn't and I am going to start with that one and then a book that I bought a few days ago it's The Edge of Never by J. A. Redmersky, 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 I don't know. So this is the name. And I really, really, really prefer the, the original cover of this book. I'm gonna put it here. But the Italian version is kind of nah. But there are two people kissing and yay. So this is quite a long book. It's, I think, 435 pages. So. It's a bit long but I'm so excited to read this because I heard people raving about this book and I, oh my goodness, sorry, I just hit my face with the book. But anyway, so cannot wait to start this and start this. And so these were the books. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed watching and um, cannot wait to read more. So bye.